The base blockchain has been out since August, so it's been about two months, and I wanted to make an update video to talk about some of the top projects on base blockchain, as well as look at what's happened for base over the last two months and talk about what could potentially happen to this blockchain in the months to come. So first and foremost, if you are unfamiliar with base blockchain, it is a Ethereum layer two solution. It's built on the OP stack. We're not gonna get too, too technical in this video because I've made other videos on the base blockchain and why they've chosen Optimism as their architecture to build this on top of. But what I wanna focus on and kind of just generalize what Coinbase did here for this base layer they basically created their own blockchain. So if you're unfamiliar with Coinbase, well, it is one of the top exchanges, a centralized exchange. They have a bunch of users. And if you're wondering just how many users are active or are registered on Coinbase, well, we can see that in 2022, we had about 98 million users on Coinbase. So in 2023, I can only imagine that this data has gone up. We've seen the growth that Coinbase has had over the years. And I do believe that even though we're in a bear market right now, I still think more and more people are joining and signing up with Coinbase. And ultimately, as we get closer to another bull market, I would see these numbers continuing to go up. Up. Now, the reason I'm pointing out Coinbase specifically here is because this is the same team that's behind the base blockchain. So if we take a look at some of the analytics for base and compare that to other popular layer twos, notably Arbitrum and Optimism, we can take a look at what happened to base when it launched. So we can go back to late July. There wasn't much happening when the launch happened. Well, we definitely see a spike in daily active addresses and we can see that it has been hovering around the same amount of daily active addresses for optimism now over the last week or so we have seen an uptick in base usage and right now it is closer and similar to what arbitrum is seeing in terms of active addresses now if we move on and talk about daily transactions again we can see at the beginning here there wasn't much happening as soon as it went live base literally blew up up in terms of daily transactions. And right now we are seeing over 400,000 transactions daily on base. Now Arbitrum is slightly higher, but it's very, very similar between base and Arbitrum. And just to give you an idea, Arbitrum has about five times more TVL or total value locked in their ecosystem. So if we take a look at that next, we can see that of course, Arbitrum sitting at a TVL of about 1.7 billion, base is only around 300 million. So again, I do see the future of base being very bright, especially with the team behind them, them using OP stack, and of course them having a massive user base with their centralized exchange being Coinbase. Now, in terms of market cap, we can't really compare base because it doesn't necessarily have its own token. Whether or not we see that in the future, it is up to the team to have a token or not. I do see the potential for a base token in the future. We've seen what happened with Arbitrum being the governance token of Arbitrum. This could very well happen to base as well. So if you are interested in base and you're interacting with the chain, then obviously that that would bode well if there is a future airdrop. Now, something else I like to do is to take a look at the transactions directly from the blockchain. So if their analytics there, we can see that right now we are again, just around 400,000 transactions on a daily basis. But back in September, there was one day, there was 1.9 million transactions. So we definitely do see that there is a lot happening on a base. We do see the graph trending down, but again, from 1.9 million to 400,000 transactions on a daily basis, I mean, we're still getting a lot of transactions. Now, in terms of unique addresses, we can see that this chart is simply going up and up and up. And we're right now at about 47 million distinct addresses on base. So I just see this continuing to build over the next months.
Now, if we zoom in on the base blockchain and we talk about some of the top projects that are currently being built on base, I would recommend looking at DeFi Llama and going into base. It gives you a very good idea of all of the different projects that are on base. And you can also use DAP Radar, which is another great tool to understand which projects are doing well on a specific ecosystem. So I would definitely be looking at both of these sites. But going back to DeFi Llama, of course, we can talk about Aerodrome. This is a very popular DEX. We can see it has a TVL of $55 million. Then if we talk about Frentech, your social fi, I would definitely say that this is one of the number one projects on base itself. If you haven't heard of Frentech, well, it is a social fi platform where people can buy keys of Twitter accounts. As soon as they're on Frentech, you can buy a key and then you get access to a special room. So I do have my own room here where I post some information about different projects. We can take a look at who is holding my key. So shout out to everyone here who is holding one of my keys. Show me daddy, Tweeter Nate, the boats, uh, funny Toro, a crimson, all of these people. I mean, shout out to you guys for having one of my keys. I'm not the most active on Frentech, but again, this project has generated a lot of hype for base. And we can see that the fees they've generated just over the last 24 hours, we're looking at about $200 million. So definitely have a look at Frentech if you haven't. Then we can have a look at another very popular DEX. We can talk about Base Swamp. Base Swamp is probably one of the DEXs that has the most amount of transactions if we take a look at deck screener we go on to base ecosystem we can see all dexes there's about 50 million dollars of 24 hour volume so there is a lot of money flowing into the DeFi space for base but taking a look at base swap specifically we have about 40.9 million i may think these volumes are a bit inflated just because there are scams on these so obviously if you're trying to find a project on deck screener be careful that you don't get into a scam project but nonetheless base swap is definitely one i would recommend looking into then we can talk about overnight finance a collateral debt position protocol i think it's on pretty much every single chain i am using we can see seven chains here so definitely another very good protocol in my opinion and if we continue scrolling down, there are other projects here. Vela is also on base. We have a bunch of different ones here. Some of these ones I'm not too familiar with, but this is a great way where you can actually find some upcoming projects. Now, again, if we use DAP radar, we can see that Frentech is number one on the list here. If we continue scrolling down, we have Base Swamp, we have Aerodrome, we have a bunch of different ones that I'm not too familiar with. But again, if you are looking at these projects, just be careful that you're not getting into something that you don't understand. Make sure you're doing your research before getting into these projects. Now, another project on base, which is relatively new, is Mesh Finance. I haven't personally done any research on this. The only thing I really know is that it is going to be a perpetual DEX and that they had a private sale that recently closed on October 20th. So again, have a look at this one, do your own research, but just understand that there was a pre-sale. And one of the best ways, in my opinion, to continue being up to date on what's happening on base is to follow base on Twitter. They post a bunch of different uh, news articles on what they're building. So again, if you are interested in base, I would definitely recommend following build on base on Twitter. So in my opinion, I do see base blowing up in the next bull market as they will continue to build this ecosystem over the next few months. And again, with Coinbase being one of the top centralized exchanges out there for crypto with the amount of users they have, it's really easy for those users to go and find themselves on the base blockchain and explore the DeFi world of things. So again, base is at 300 million TVL. I do see it competing against Arbitrum in the near future. That would be at least a 5X, if not more. I do also see Arbitrum going up. So in my opinion, those two layer twos are definitely going to have a lot of potential. And I also see optimism because of course, 
base being built on the OP stack, it just bodes well for the entire optimism chain. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on base down below. I'm excited to see what you guys are looking at. Let me know the projects you're looking at. This was not an extensive list, but again, I wanted to share my opinions on base. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.